said it was the last time But you keep coming back to tell me Sorry that you take back All the things you said just to hurt me I love this one Welcome back to my channel. Um, it just started snowing and we are on our way to the grocery store. I honestly needed to go, I wanted to go earlier this morning, but we just kept procrastinating and playing and doing other things, didn't we Sydney? Yeah. Yeah, so we are going to the grocery store. I haven't been, I feel like I haven't been grocery shopping in so long. Um, so just getting all the necessities, everything pretty large grocery haul. I'm hoping that it's not busy because I think the Super Bowl is about to start. And this is the first year, basically in my entire life, that I haven't watched football. Um, I don't have cable and I just, I don't know, it just, I was busy and all of that jazz. Anywho, so hopefully it's not too busy. And then obviously I wanna get home before the snow accumulates. We are getting a few inches, but I'm a baby when it comes to driving in the snow. It's just me. Anywho. You're not baby mom. I'm not a baby. Yeah, you, uh, uh, I'm brave, I'm brave. You were talking about a baby mom. No, I, it just means like, um, I don't really like driving in the snow, okay? You are back once more like everything's the same. Try to build my walls up, but you're taking them down. It's tearing me apart. I can't pretend now. I oh, thank you for being my big helper. Mom, what? May I please have one of these? Yeah, yes. Oh, I just realized we are way overexposed. I want dinner. You want that for a snack? Mm -hmm. okay. I want a snack. So we are home just in time because the roads, it's definitely starting to stick to the roads, the snow that is. I did about a $200 grocery haul. <laughs> I ha honestly haven't done a huge grocery haul or a big grocery haul in a while, so I pretty much needed a lot of things. I needed the protein, I needed all kinds of snacks and berries and fruit, like all of the things. So I ended up doing a larger grocery haul. I'm gonna try to speed through and show you what I picked up for, um, groceries this week some of the things yes I went there hungry and some of the things I was like you know what I just want this right now <laughs> that's what we're doing I ended up getting a hot rotisserie chicken I'm probably gonna break into this tonight um, I got some chicken tenders which we're gonna actually eat right now kind of like a mid lunch Sydney wanted a whoopie pie for her birthday so tomorrow she's gonna have a whoopie pie since we just did a cake um, with my mom so that will be her little birthday treat, uh, cucumber, honeydew melon, Sydney really wanted this week. I've got some fresh parsley. Um, these are kind of a random thing. I have never seen these before. Obviously they say new, they're dried apple sticks. Sydney is munching on one right now. Are they good? Mm -hmm. They're more chewy than the freeze dried ones, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, but that's what she insisted on. So we got a few bags of those. And then she also wanted to try a different uh, fruit this week. So this one is golden or golden berries. We've, I have actually never had a golden berry, so I don't know. I'll look up a recipe or how to eat them if you just eat them plain. We've got some blackberries and then tomatoes. She wanted these, what are these called? Kumura, kuma, mini Kumada, mini Kumada uh, sweet brown grape tomatoes. I don't know if she wanted those, so we went for them. Um, and then a couple of these snack breaks. They have the cheese dried cranberries and cashews, a couple limes, some bananas, avocados, uh, Cheerios, Sydney. It's been a while since I bought her some new cereal. 
I needed vegetable oil. We have a couple of coffee creamers, sugar-free hazelnut. These, we've never had these before. Um, blueberry, sweet potato, and apple. They had a couple, couple of different flavors. So those are like snack pouches for her. Some cheese, milk. I have some bouillon, like chicken seasoning. A couple things of Kashi waffles for Sydney for breakfast. And she's never had go before. Or she really wanted this one because the packaging sold her. So she got some vanilla and strawberry yogurt tubes for breakfast and snacks. And then this is the ice cream Sydney picked out for her birthday. I gotta get it in the freezer real fast. She wanted mint ice cream. Good choice. I have some mozzarella pearls, some chicken tenders, a frozen pizza, some pizza dough I'm gonna pop in the freezer. Nice to have. This one says limited edition everything seasoning. You guys know how I feel about everything seasoning. Yummy, yummy. yummy. Some turkey. This is my new favorite go-to hummus. Balsamic caramelized onion hummus. If it is so good, you guys. So good. I know it's kind of, ex this is exclusive to Hannaford brand, but if you can find that flavor somewhere, do it. Some honey barbecue sauce. Some tricolored peppers. I have croissants. I was going to do some egg and cheese sandwiches for breakfast, possibly tomorrow morning. Yummy. And then these, it's nice to have in my pantry when I want a fast, like go-to side. These little potatoes are so yummy. Um, a couple of lemons. We have some mac and cheeses here, a bunch of pasta, some Cheez-Its. I was craving Cheez-Its, so I had to grab those for me. We're obviously going to share them. I got some pasta sauces, uh, a pizza sauce, uh, we have beets, carrots, peanut butter, everything bagels, and some whipped chive cream cheese. So that is what, I, oh, and I also, I don't think I brought, oh. I also picked up some Coke Zero, and I have seltzer in the car. I still haven't brought in, but I got some bubbly, like, strawberry seltzer. I haven't tried it yet. And then I got these all-dressed chips. I hardly ever buy chips, but... I was craving them. These all dressed ones are so good. So that's what I picked up for groceries to get us through for a little while. To get over you again. You said it was the last time that you keep coming back to show me. Sorry you have changed now, but it's the same old story. So ever since I had the Chick-fil-A sauce, I've been dying to have it again. I just went on Pinterest. I found a copycat recipe, so I'm gonna go give it a try since I bought some chicken fingers um, for like a mid-lunch thing, midday lunch. Um, so it has like honey, barbecue sauce, uh, mayonnaise, lemon juice, mustard, I don't know. I'm gonna give it a go, we'll see. This is the recipe right here, quarter cup honey, some yellow mustard, barbecue, lemon juice, mayonnaise. That is the flavor that I definitely noticed. I was saying, I cut it out of the vlog, but I said to myself, it kind of tastes like a honey mustard with a little bit of barbecue in there. So So while it's not an exact copycat, it's not bad. I needed a little more lemon juice and a little bit of a little bit more mustard. It needed more tang. It's pretty decent. It doesn't really look so appetizing. It's pretty good. So in case you guys don't know, Sydney's birthday is actually tomorrow, February 8th. How old are you going to be on your birthday? Um, four. Four? You're going to be four years old. She has a birthday so close to Christmas. I don't want to do a ton. Didn't want to do a ton of things and toys and whatnot um of course because you know we just had christmas but i'm really excited because she is excited actually to open this i'm working with leapfrog on today's video and they sent her over one of these leap start preschool success books it's one of the electronic books and i'm gonna open this right up so that she can try it she's been wanting to try it ever since we got it in the mail it's a touch and talk um, activity center. It's a pink one. <laughs> How cute. I'm going to have this one linked down below, of course, where you guys can purchase it for your little ones. <gasps> Are you excited? It has, um, 
there's a bunch of different books available. So they have like counting, uh, storybooks, math, puzzles, colors, all kinds of different learning activities. This one is level one preschool since Sydney is four in that preschool age. Sydney was having so much fun playing with the Leap Start Preschool Success Interactive Learning System. I love that it grows with your child. The expansive Leap Start library of books, which are sold separately, um, covers a variety of preschool through first grade subjects for ages two to seven years old. There's more than 30 activities in every book. You can replay them, of course, um, and they have two levels with 50 plus key skills per grade. So kids can play and learn at the right level and move up when they are ready. And you guys know I am all about those educational toys, and so she's playing and learning at the same time, which is a bonus for mommy. Do it again. You walked Blue rubber ball. The book that is included um, is already downloaded, so the stylist that is really comfortable for kids to hold um, is and easy to use too is already included. But if you want to get additional books, you'll have to just have a computer to download them so that it works with the stylist and the stylist can read it and recognize it. But it's so cute. This one is the counting one with um, Scout and Violet. Help, Mom. Does it come with stickers? Yeah. It's swatting. Help. Do they come off? Oh, those are your rewards. Three. Where's four? Three. Four. That's how old you're going to be. Ten. Mom, where's my reward, please? I am attempting to make one of those large number four, well, as large as my poster board. Like a 3D number four, you can probably not even see this, but I found a YouTube video. I screenshot it because she had measurements on there. If I can find it, I'm gonna link it down below. Um, but the measurements are not, like I don't have a big enough poster board, so you can just freehand a number four. So I have two pieces of poster board. This one, I'm gonna cut out the number four, and then this one, I'm gonna make the sides. So I'm gonna make it sort of 3D. I really hope this comes out. And then I plan on stuff. Okay, hang on. And then I plan on stuffing it with balloons. We'll see. We'll see. It saves me like 60 bucks because I was gonna buy it on um, Etsy, but it, they're like 60 bucks. So I might as well make one myself. Okay, let's see. said it was the last time but you keep coming back to tell me sorry that you take back all the things you said just to hurt me i love just went cold but i'm still burning i love just went cold why i keep on making the same mistake brought you into the kitchen because I have no lighting elsewhere. Sydney decided to decorate the inside of it, but it's so easy. All I'm doing is taking another piece of foam board and bending it around 
um, the number four, just kind of making measurements and then Mom. just making measurements Mama. and then cutting like the little crease part and folding it around. And then I have it secured with tape. So really easy. It's officially done and just ready to be stuffed with balloons. Not too bad. It actually wasn't that difficult because I had a loose measurement and then this foam board just bends really easily but it's all like you know just taped <laughs> not too bad for look at this gorgeous view from the snowfall Sydney has the most beautiful birthday This is what the number four came out like. I think it came out pretty good for homemade, really quick. Number four. And I can't believe my little girl. Mom, this is, is a gold metal. Yeah? A gold metal. I can't believe you're four years old. Yeah. Yeah. I love you. Happy birthday. I didn't think I'd be getting as many questions about this as I am over on Instagram, so I wish I had done a thorough um, like explanation as far as, I mean, it's super simple, but as far as like measurements go, but I ended up doing five inches thick for the strips and it worked out great because I was able to do, um, just two pieces of foam board, one for the backing and then one cut into like four strips for the width. So that's about five inches. And then, um, everything else I will try to remember some measurements but you can find them online just google it youtube it um if you want to make one but obviously every letter is or every number is going to be different measurements anyway you guys can just freehand it Try to build my walls up but you're taking them down it's tearing me apart i can't pretend now i have to get over you